When first developed in 1873, Garfield, New Jersey, then known as East Passaic, was a small borough, home to a culturally diverse community of immigrants. Officially named in 1881 after U.S. President James Garfield following his assassination, Garfield established itself as an industrial and manufacturing city with a host of machining and tooling operations. It was also home to a former lock manufacturer made popular by combination locks used in traditional briefcases and padlocks. Operations had utilized chlorinated solvents as degreasing agents in the lock manufacturing process prior to shuttering operations. Over time, the solvents seeped through the wooden manufacturing floor to impact soil and groundwater. The contamination extended through the silty sand to sandy clay, unconsolidated soils, and into the shale aquifer indigenous to the Passaic region. Through the years, remedial activities have included soil removal and a subslab depressurization system installed to mitigate vapor intrusion concerns. In 2014, an ISCO approach was taken using Regenesis Persulfox Catalyzed Sodium Persulfate to treat the affected groundwater as a step toward fully remediating the site for future redevelopment. The application of the amendment was successful in knocking down contaminants to reach below imminent environmental concern conditions. The client, a real estate developer intent on completing a pending real estate transaction, is focused on eliminating liability and risk by addressing the levels of contaminants quickly and effectively. Advanced Geoservices Corporation, a leading environmental consulting firm based in Westchester, Pennsylvania, with clients throughout the Northeast, was familiar with Regenesis' track record for success with similar sites and recommended a combined remedial approach using Persulfox, Plume Stop, and HRC. Drawing from the success of the first application of Persulfox, Advanced Geoservices decided to incorporate another application of Persulfox to treat the former hot spot containing CVOCs at 12 ppm in groundwater. In addition to the Persulfox amendment, two downgradient plume stop liquid activated carbon barriers were installed to manage CVOC migration. HRC, a soluble electron donor, was also installed to promote biodegradation within the plume stop barriers. The barriers are designed to protect a nearby culverted stream and downgradient residential community. The site design provided by Regenesis includes a subsequent plume stop grid injection in the former hotspot area following the Persulfox application to effectively manage mass flux toward the downgradient treatment barriers. Since the area was well established with existing buildings surrounding the impacted areas and a sewer utility present under the active alley, a strategic design was required to effectively mitigate the contaminated area with little to no disruption to ongoing businesses and tractor-trailer deliveries. I tend to specialize in highly complex remediation projects, uh, particularly chlorinated solvents. It was the Plume Stop product that's available exclusively through Genesis that was the best fit for this particular project. Advanced Geo Services felt confident in choosing Regenesis Remediation Services Division, or RRS, to perform the work. The injection team is far better than most of the other teams I've used using drillers exclusively, bringing in Regenesis to run the trailers and run the pumps. It allowed us to at least double production, being able to inject three, four points at a time versus one or two. This is the second project that I've done with Regenesis on this site. I had a very positive experience the first time doing a persulfate injection, so it was an easy choice to come back and uh, get Regenesis involvement in this, in this project again and see what their ideas and what products they felt were the best fit for this particular project. The major goal on this site was to reduce groundwater concentrations in the vicinity of the source area so that the client was able to enter into a classification exception area under uh, New Jersey DEP criteria. The effects of the combined amendment and installation of the two barriers were an effective solution to help reach the client's goals and polish off the site. So we looked at several different remediation technologies and we felt due to the site limitations, the timetable required and cost that the plume stop was the best fit. 